Radio. Did you hear about this story? Five years ago, since the Albuquerque school, Darren Barr was arrested. He originally was scheduled to serve 15 consecutive life terms in jail. But the judge gave him the death penalty after confessing to 11, count them, 11 gruesome murders in his own apartment building. We're talking Jeffrey Dahmer kind of stuff here. This, this stuff made Ted Bundy look like an amateur. Amazingly enough, one survivor managed to escape and help lead to his capture. This brave woman escaped his clutches after he cornered her inside her apartment and through sheer determination or craftiness, hell, maybe even luck, he managed to injure Darren Barr and escape. Where he was then cornered and surrendered to you. deranged. I mean, abuse when he was younger, a history of erratic, demented behavior through the teens, and then he joined this cult. And that's when things really took off. That's when the remorse left. It was a purpose. It was his calling. Apparently, he needed all 12 victims. And he was unable to achieve that because of the one... <laughs>
caller asked about the random murders that are happening lately that are similar to the Albuquerque ghoul murders. Are they related? Could Darren rise back up from the dead? I, I doubt it. Whoever it is, though, they have a remarkable sense of accuracy. I mean, it's almost scary. Even details from prior murders that were never released are being replicated. I don't know, guys. Hey, hey, Albuquerque's looking a little scary, and I truly don't know when the bloodshed's gonna be. Another caller asked a great question. Do you think Darren was insane? Insane for killing those 11 people? Insane for being this murder spree killer, a uh, serial killer? Well, it really depends, caller, on which entity you believe in. If you want to burn forever, then yes. If you want eternal damnation, then yes, he was insane. But if you want true salvation, if you want the right thing, if you if you believe in the right thing, then you know he was correct. And honestly, caller, she ruined it for everyone. You listening to this radio broadcast has ruined it for everyone. And standing there in that hallway, you think you're going to get away. Do you think you could leave us? No, no, even apart. We make a great team. We'll be back together. <laughs> Not at all! He had the help of a certain someone special, a certain woman, who he let escape. You see, the news report says that there were 11 gruesome murders. In fact, there were 23. They were just spaced five years apart. And we're about to finalize the ceremony. Welcome to paradise. I knew you couldn't stay away. And even apart, we make a great team. 